Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy and delicious slow cooker chili. Okay, so to my pan set over medium heat, I'm adding 2 pounds of ground beef and I'm using the 8515 blend. I like it with a little bit of fat in there to give it flavor. I'm going to take my spoon and break up the meat and by the way you don't need to add any oil to the pan the meat already has enough fat in it so it won't stick to the pan to that I'm going to add a one cup of chopped onion and 4 cloves of chopped garlic give that a stir and let it cook for about 15 minutes but be sure to go back in there and stir it so everything could cook evenly as always I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you if you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. And be sure to click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. I've been getting comments lately from people saying they're not getting their notification from my YouTube videos. So if you're subscribed to my channel, make sure you check your notification bell, make sure it's turned on so you get notified when I upload a new video. And I usually upload a new video once a week and that's on Saturdays, Saturday morning. One last thing, if you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps out my channel a whole lot. It helps to get my videos out there. So. I would appreciate it if you would thumbs up the video, if you like it. Okay, now that the 15 minutes is up, all the water has cooked out and meat is starting to get brown. I'm going to turn off the stove and I'm going to add it to my crock pot. To that I'm going to add two cans of diced tomatoes and make sure you get everything out of your can. one can of tomato sauce two cans of red beans Two cups of beef broth or you can use beef stock, either one would work. Three tablespoons of chili powder. Two teaspoons of oregano. Two teaspoons of cumin. One teaspoon of black pepper. And two teaspoons of salt. Stir that really well and then you're going to cover it and let it cook on high for 4 hours. If you haven't been following me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Sharani. I'm always sharing stuff in my stories over there, so come follow me.
Now for the last 30 minutes I like to come in there and thicken it up and as you can see it looks thick already but I like to add this next step and this is not totally necessary if you don't have it you don't have to add it but I think this just adds a different level of thickness to it so I'm using some corn masa flour or maseka and I'm using a quarter cup and I'm going to add a half a cup of water and I'm going to stir it just to mix everything together before I add it to the pot stir the pot while you slowly add the mixture to it I know this has nothing to do with Belizean tamales but adding the maseka to this pot makes the texture a little bit like when you're making Belizean tamales. I don't know, maybe it's just in my head. Cover it and let it finish cook. Well, now it's finished and oh my goodness, I wish I could share with you all. I know I say that in every video, but I mean, this big pot of chili, I wish I could share with you all. This is exactly how I like my chili to be. But I have to say, my hubby and I go back and forth because he likes his chili to be a little bit thicker, like even more thicker than this. But for me, I like it this way. I like it to be a little soupy. How do you like your chili? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Now you can eat your chili just like this, you don't have to add anything to it. I mean it's perfect just the way it is. But to kick it up a notch, I like to add some things to it. I like to add some cheddar cheese on top and just let that cheese melt in there and some red onion. To me that's just, oh, that's just so good. You can even add some fritos on top or you can eat it with crackers or I even like to eat it with rice. I know. <laughs> My hubby thinks that's weird. Like, who eat chili and rice? Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I grew up because we used to eat a lot of rice. So, you know, we eat everything with rice. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps to get my videos out there. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.